एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर शिल्पा प्रैक्टिसिंग एट लोअर एम टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज फिजियोथेरेपी इन यूरिनरी इनकॉन्टिनेंस सो आर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हाउ यूरिनरी इनकॉन्टिनेंस इज अ टैबू बट एज अ फिजियो टूडे वी आर वन टू डिस्कस हाउ फिजियोज कैन हेल्प इन यूरिनरी इनकॉन्टिनेंस so first uh, thing is that uh, we have to assess a good assessment can uh, may help us get a better plan and uh, each patient is different so in assessment uh, we have to find out uh, according to the uh, according to the assessment there is a uh, p that is power so each contraction so here uh, when we talk about uh, urinary incontinence uh, pelvic floor muscles play a very important role so whatever i'm going to talk is almost related everything is usually related to the uh, pelvic floor muscles so uh, p is power so uh, we try to ask we ask the patient to contract the pelvic floor and uh, through assessment and through different tools we can uh, find out uh, how much power the patient has then endurance for how long can the person hold the contraction uh, repetition how many how many times can the person uh, repeat the contraction uh, while we ask them to and uh, till how long that it gets fatigued then there is each repetition how how long and how much can they hold so all these things will help us to assess and understand how well uh, how what is the condition of the pelvic floor muscles so that is one thing when we talk about exercises um, mainly kegels exercises that is uh, voluntarily contracting and relaxing the pelvic floor muscles uh, usually uh, we give it in pregnant females we train them from before and slowly after in the postnatal phase also that is used so kegels exercises is one and uh, then there is a uh, behavioral training so there uh, we ask them to maintain a bladder diary uh, so that we can uh, you know scheduled uh, we can schedule the uh, bladder emptying of the bladder we can understand how uh, how how frequently they need to go to the washroom so all these things will uh, we can discuss about when we talk about bladder diary uh, then there is uh, in pelvic floor training uh, there are two types of fibers that is the slow twitch fibers and the fast twitch fibers so slow twitched fibers they are uh, more of they can hold sustain support and they can they don't get fatigued for a long time while in fast twitch they give more pressure and they uh, get fatigued easily so when we train pelvic floor muscles we have to train these both fibers so usually uh, there is a tens also that we use uh, transcutaneous electrical stimulation uh, which will help to contract and relax the muscle so here there is a uh, there is a muscle called as detrusor muscle which is purely helping to control the bladder so uh, we ask the patient to voluntarily contract this pelvic floor muscles which inhibits detrusor muscle which also helps in uh, stopping the urine leakage so uh, that's how pelvic floor muscles are related to urinary incontinence educating the patient is a very important part here to know how their journey is going to be further educating and understanding what the patient is going through is a very very important role while where physio is also playing actually uh, because we are trying to know how their day goes and how things are going to work out when it comes to uh, the bladder training uh then there is core training that we can target a uh, core training usually helps the patients to uh, get the pelvic floor muscles also activated as well as when there is an when there is like a strengthening of the abdominal muscles uh it the coughing sneezing all these things that cause the urinary incontinence or the stress incontinence that we talk that uh, can be prevented because the core is very strengthened that's how it can support the 
uh, pelvic floor muscles also better then we have uh, something called as vaginal cones uh, so these are cone shaped or a round shaped uh, weighted uh, thing that is inserted inside and the patient is told voluntarily to hold it and not let it fall down so uh, that's one way also to strengthen the pelvic floor uh, then la in behavioral therapy we also ask them to uh, to change there are some lifestyle changes that are important okay weight control or uh, nutrition okay also educating them about some bowel irritants like coffee so such uh, such things that can you know actually irritate the bo uh, ba bladder uh, can actually uh, like it will uh, it will cause more difficulty in while we train we should also know that what the patient is doing in a whole day this is the main cause because we can tell them from scratch what needs to be changed so while uh, training while training the bladder we have and as i mentioned the bladder diary uh, it is a major part in uh, bladder retraining because this thing uh, is a very good tool okay it can act as a feedback okay and also the patient is very motivated to uh, maintain a diary for himself and you know they they can uh, they can uh, get what they are doing wrong easily so this is also one of uh, one major thing that we uh, focus on so uh, to sum up uh, as physios we can advise exercises for the pelvic flow we can we can uh, teach them about bladder diary we can educate them about what is good and what is bad and we can do core training and this is mainly mostly this is working together with the patient and understanding how they must be going through it mentally so uh, as physios we have to take really uh, really good care when we uh, educate the patient